There's two kinds of time problems. There's the unit conversion kind, which is covered in rates and unit conversions. And then there's this kind, the count up, count back kind. Nobody likes this kind. Nobody likes this kind at all. Uh, not even me. But there's a couple tricks to it. So first off, um, keep all the units the same. You're not going to really want to convert units on this. Um, it's just too big of a hassle, and it doesn't really get you anywhere. When we did fraction operations, I said to deal with the integers first. That's the, kind of the same thing here. You can think of the minutes as like a fraction of an hour. So deal with the integers first, then deal with the minutes. Deal with the hours first. So begins at 7, 10 minutes to clean, 2 hours to marinate. All right, so we'll subtract 2 hours. One hour and 15 minutes to rest. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the hour. I'm going to leave off the 15 minutes, but I'm going to put it over here so I don't forget it. So that gives me 4 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to look at my answer choices really quickly and see if I can mark anything off. Looks like A and C are out, right, because they're after 4 o'clock. Now let's count up my minutes. Uh, 10 minutes to clean. Okay, so i got 10 minutes here. Uh, five minutes to rest. And that's it. So I can either add these up or sub and, and subtract them or just subtract them either way. Since I already got them over here, I'll add them up. 15 plus 10 is 25 plus 5 is 30. So now I'm going to subtract 30 minutes. Three hours in 30 minutes. Keep it simple on these problems. Just keep everything the same. Deal with the biggest part first, then deal with the, the minutes. Try to do the minutes first. A lot of times you'll goof the hours up. Now, one of the ways they ask this problem, and you'll see problems like this in the problem set, is let's say that you were parking in a garage, and the first hour is three bucks, second hour is two bucks, and after that it's a dollar. And they charge for every hour or part thereof. You got to be careful. There's an extra step on there. You first need to calculate how long has gone by. But then you have to be careful with the dollars, right? You need to make sure you assign $3 for the first hour, $2 for the second hour, and $1 for all the other hours in any minutes you've got. So you'll see problems like that in the problem set. Do them the same way. Just keep it simple. Keep it consistent. Check out the unit conversion rates video because that's the really important stuff.